Hi, I'm Joe and I want to teach you about how to do an air brake inspection check for a Class A combination vehicle or tractor trailer for your CDL exam Class A. And uh, I learned it in my school a little bit differently than they teach it on the YouTube here. Uh, but uh, my school just abbreviates everything so I'll teach you what those tests are, what they're called, and abbreviations. Um, we have our uh, air brake compressor buildup test, and we have our air pressure compressor pump down test. Then, of course, we have our static air leakage test, and they refer to that as non applied. Then we have the applied air leakage check, and uh, the low air warning check, and uh, something they don't even define except it's illegal to check and it's uh, how fast the uh, air pressure builds up until the tanks are in the normal operating range about 100 pounds I'll get into that in a few minutes and then we have uh, something in my school we refer to as a, uh, a pop test and we, we also we call that um, spring brake activation test and uh, then there's something we call the tug test, and that's where you pull to see if the trailer brakes will hold the vehicle in a park position, or we can uh, pull against the tractor uh, with the throttle to see if uh, the tractor brakes, spring brakes, will hold the uh, tractor or the whole combination vehicle in a park position by themselves. And uh, then we have something uh, just called a sh well service brake check. We'll get into that. Uh, it's not very much there. The first thing we start out with is um, the um, air compressor buildup test, and that works by fanning the brakes down. Uh, so we want to know through this air compressor buildup test um, what the maximum uh, air pressure should be for that particular vehicle we're testing, um, what the greatest air pressure is while the tanks are filled. Uh, and um, we do that by um, one of two means. Um, that we always fan the brakes down for this whole test. Uh, and we'll fan the brakes down until they reach 90 to 100 pounds and build them up to note when the highest pressure is. Uh, and we do that by um, assisting the air compressor and building the pressure up until the uh, needles on the primary and the secondary air pressure gauges reach um, their maximum level, either with the air dryer spit valve sneeze or if it doesn't have an air dryer in the system, if they're just going to stay at a certain level. And after that, uh, we have to ask our examiner if we, uh, if he wants us to chalk the wheels because we have to release the brakes to see uh, what goes on as the air compressor pump down test continues. And uh, normally, what we're permitted to do in the test is to put the vehicle into first gear, but put it into first gear while the engine's still running, and then. We'll do our leakage test while the engine's not running, and uh, the vehicle will hold in place. So um, we want to have the key on and the engine off for the next test. And um, the way to do it is to note after the engine's off how much air pressure is still in the tanks uh, after the initial drop off the engine off. And um, we've got to see a static air loss or a air loss without any control inputs of no more than 3 psi per minute. And we need to indicate what that is if we see anything, mention what it is. And with the foot breakdown, the service breakdown completely uh, held down for one minute, uh, we want to see what the uh, applied air loss is 
on the gauges if there's any air loss at all. It should be greater than no greater than four psi per one minute with a combination vehicle, tractor, and trailer. Uh, and the next one we got to do is uh, fanning down the brakes. Uh, we want to notice when the uh, red light comes on for air pressure, low air pressure, and uh, when the warning light comes on steady, it's going to come on flickering first. Uh, mention what that pressure is and usually it's between 55 and 75 psi and I think it has to do with the outside air pressure air temperature excuse me the outside air temperature whether it's closer to 60 or 70 but it's in a range of around 55 to 75 where the low air pressure light will activate and uh, then we'll pump down the braking system until it reaches um, the point where the uh, spring brake activation comes on. The tractor protection valve will pop out and the trailer spring brake knob will pop out, emergency brake knob. And that should, it always has to occur between 40 psi and 20 psi as indicated on the primary and the secondary gauges always mention what that is, what it was, and ordinarily it would be around 30 PSI. Okay, and then um, our brakes locked up like that, the vehicle's not going to roll anywhere. Uh, we have to restart the engine, take it out of gear, and um, we'll assist the air compressor building the pressure back up into the air tanks until they reach maximum. And we have to maximum air pressure before we continue our other test. Uh, so um, we'll uh, note when the uh, red light, the air pressure warning light comes off, it should be at the same place where it came on, around 60 pounds PSI on the gauges. And uh, then uh, we'll pump up the, um, the air system by assisting the compressor with a tachometer between uh, 1100, 1500 RPM. And uh, we need to see just how fast it rises up to 100 pounds, but particularly between 85 pounds and 100 pounds. And we'll note that you know, interval time legal purpose of the test and uh, we'll go all the way up to uh, 120 pounds again and, uh, and we want to do uh, something called the tug test after that and that's where we put in the uh, tractor control valve pull against the trailer brakes uh, and uh, we can uh, then check with the uh, tractor brakes to see if it's going to hold the vehicles we uh, pull against it, release the clutch and put a little throttle down. It's also called a shrug test. It'll rotate the cab a little bit. So you have a tug test or a shrug test with the uh, two brake valves. Uh, and the last test we really have to do is the uh, service brake test uh, where we release all the valves drive forward for five to eight feet and uh, see if we're, we have any brakes. We should have brakes and they shouldn't make noises or they shouldn't uh, pull from left to right or right to left. Good luck with the test.